families. These snails were carnivorous and ate worms, bivalves, and other snails. Now this is a story all about how the life of Hesperonis turned out. I'd like to take a minute just sit right there and tell you all about the bird that can fly through the air. Uh. <laughs> In the western interior seaway, born and raised, is where Hesperonis spent most of his days. Swimming through the water he liked when it was cool, but sometimes other genus took him for a fool when a couple of mosasaurs were up to no good started making trouble in his neighborhood. They got one little fight. Hesperonis got scary, but then came a flash sediment. Boom, they were buried.